Legends, welcome back to another episode of our Decades Legacy Challenge. And as you can see, it is just another day here on the O'Hara Residence. And Gemma here is just up and at it again in the kitchen. It is about 1.40 in the afternoon and she is just making some food for the family. The girls are upstairs, it looks like, and they are sad, but everyone is feeling a little bit peckish, and so she is cooking up a storm here in the kitchen. And as you can see, Liam is hard at work at his job. So as we know, Gemma is a stay-at-home mother. She has no need to work because Liam here does make a pretty decent amount of money being that he is an engineer. So she just spends her days with the girls and cooking and cleaning and doing the things that she does. So she's made some macaroni and cheese and she's just helping herself because she is feeling pretty hungry. Oh my goodness. It looks like we might be expecting an addition to the family. So it is the year 1923. We have ourselves our twins. And I guess we're going to be seeing that we're probably expecting an addition to the family here because it looks like she might be pregnant. But I'm just going to get her tidying up around the house here. And we're also going to deal with little Lindsay and Norma here and help them get their needs kind of caught up here. So we'll have them come down and if they're hungry, they can get themselves a bite to eat. It looks like Lindsay is helping herself to a little bit of potty training and Norma is working on the nesting blocks. So we love that for them. But they are both sad, sad, sad little beans. Um, so I am gonna have her come up and just read them to sleep because it does look like both of them are feeling a little bit tired um, so maybe they need to get a little bit of rest. So as soon as she's done eating here, we'll have her clean up um, and, and put them down for a nap. And I'll just put these things away. That way she has a little bit less that she has to do here. She's like, come on, sweet girl, let's go ahead and go in here. Mama's gonna go ahead and read you a book and we'll get you tucked right into bed and then you can have yourself a little nap. There's no sense in crying over spilt milk. Go ahead, lay on down now. Get yourself tucked into the blankies and mama's gonna read to you. There you go, that's a sweet girl. All right, let's read about these little monsters. It's like, monsters? Mama, I wanna read about princesses. What about the Treasure Island? Okay, we can read about Treasure Island. Okay. So we've got her into bed, one down, one more to go. I don't have any idea how Jim is going to handle twins and then a, new, a newborn, but it is looking like she is pregnant, guys. I haven't gotten the notification that she definitely is pregnant, but she keeps holding her stomach and having those baby things come up over her head, and so I am fairly certain that this is the case, so... I would not be shocked at all if we find out in this episode that she is indeed expecting. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and change her aspiration to a stay-at-home parent because that is exactly what she is. She doesn't want to actually be an academic. Um, she wants to be a stay-at-home mom. And we're just reading about monsters again to this one. I don't really know what her fascination is with monsters for reading for the girls, but that is what she has opted to do. So, you know. Now that the girls have gotten themselves down for a nap, she's just going to go downstairs and she's going to tidy up a little bit after cooking and all of that. So we'll just have her clean up this sink here and we will go ahead and put away the macaroni and cheese and then like she does need to go ahead and go on to the washroom. So we're just going to let her go ahead and take care of some of her needs here and <laughs> that way she doesn't wee herself. And actually, she is needing a little bit of a nap herself. So she's got really low energy herself. So I may go ahead and let her get a little bit of rest. Um, for whatever reason, all three of the girls were feeling quite tired. So we'll go ahead and let her get some rest herself. And then all of them will be um, rested up for when Liam gets home from work. 
So Liam has just arrived home from work and he has checked the mail and he is also tired. So I'm just going to go ahead and cue him for him to go ahead and head on to bed himself. And I will catch back with you in the morning when everyone wakes up. Okay, so it is actually about 8 o'clock in the evening. But his sister has called and his other sister has shown up at the door. So he has woken up to answer his phone and also he has a very pregnant sister at the door. So Merida is here, shown up, very, very pregnant. And so we're going to go ahead and go and see what the deal is and why she has shown up. Because it's not every day that your sisters just show up on your doorstep very very pregnant and so we need to find out what's going on and if something is going on so as soon as he gets off the phone with Rose we will come and check on Merida and make sure everything is okay we'll just say like when are you due is everything okay with you and the baby you know is something the matter you know it's not like you to show up this late at night does is there something that you need and make sure that everything is okay with her and she's like well actually i'm due very soon um i just came over to see you because i it's been a while and he's like okay well i'm just worried about you because this is very unlike you can i have a feel of that baby bump and she's like yeah and he's like, you know, we've got the girls now, and it's really late, and it's just unlike you to have us, you know, it's just unlike us to have callers this late at night. And she's like, I understand that. I just, I really missed you, Liam. And he's like, well, you know, Merida, you're welcome to come over at any time. You don't have to do it late at night. And she's like, I know, but you know, with the teens and now me about to have the baby, I just don't know when I'm going to have the time to do it. So I figured, you know. Before I have this little baby, it's going to take up all of my time. I just thought I'd come check on my baby brother. So how's life treating you? And he's like, oh, it's good. It's good. You know, we're we're doing well. You know, things are good. And she's like, and how's being a dad? And he's like, oh, being a dad's great. I absolutely ad adore being a dad. And she's like, well, that's great news. I'm glad to hear it. He's like, is that really the only reason you came by? And she's like, it really is. I really just missed you. I was just thinking about you, and I just I just wanted to come by and just see you. These hormones make you miss people, and you just can't get them out of your mind. And he's like, okay, well, I just, you know, I appreciate you too, Merida. So she really just wanted to come over and say hi. And she's like, okay, I'm going to get out of your hair now. I know it's late. So we're going to go ahead and let Liam get back to what he was doing and... You know, he did get a little bit of rest, so he's not too put out by the fact that she came over to visit. If anything, I think he's a little bit happy that he actually got to see his sister because it had been a while since he had visited with any of his family aside from his twin sister, Rose. So I think it was nice of him to be able to see Merida. So we're going to go ahead and queue up for everyone to get a little bit to eat because Gemma has woken up and she's quite hungry herself. So we'll get her to get a bath and get her to get something to eat and take care of her needs there. The girls here are also feeling a little bit hungry. I know it is really late at night, but they kind of took themselves a late nap and now everyone's feeling quite hungry. So I'm just gonna get everyone up to get themselves a bite to eat. And unfortunately, our days and nights are a little bit mixed up right now. Okay, it does look like Liam went ahead and went back to bed and the girls aren't quite up yet so Gemma has had her bath and now she's heading down to go ahead and get herself something to eat because she is hungry and she has opted for cake for breakfast um, well not even breakfast a late night snack I don't know that that's the best choice but um, that is what she's decided that she wants to eat and we have some random person on our property um, so we're going to overlook that person because we don't know them and they're not time period appropriate. And I'm just going to clean this dish up. But she has opted for cake for her late night snack. And she's happy about it, it would seem, because she's cheering about the cake. So <laughs> there's that. She must really like it. It must be really good. I'm just glad she's sitting at the kitchen table and not in there next to the stereo and she's actually cleaning up after herself so ah. she's getting better she really is good on you Gemma good on you 
All right, and it does look like she is going to um, go ahead and go upstairs and get some food ready on the high chair for one of the girls because they are hungry. That being said, they're asleep, so I don't know. Maybe she's going to get one of them up. Guys, we are definitely with child. She hasn't told me yet that she's pregnant, but we know she is. All right, so we're going to get you up. We're going to get you into this high chair and get you your breakfast. Here you go, sweet girl. All right, we got to go to the bathroom. I think she's going to throw up. Yep. Guys, we are definitely pregnant. So we're going to go ahead and clean up this toilet that she just threw up in. And if anyone had any doubt in their mind that she was with child, I hope that just eradicated that because she had just had some cake and she just lost some cake. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and get Norma out of this high chair because she's done with her breakfast. And then we will have to get Lindsay some breakfast once she wakes but in the meantime, we will need to give Norma a bath because she is green. She is a stink, stink, stinky girl. Actually, we'll go ahead and let Liam get up and he can take care of Lindsay while we take care of Norma. Liam, will you get up out of bed? You've had plenty of rest. I think you should help. Your wife is going through some things. She really is. You have no clue what you've done. But you will know soon enough. She's going to tell you. Go ahead and ask her for a bath. Let's give her a bath. <clears throat> Give her a bath, and Liam is going to give Lindsay food. She's like, oh my gosh, you smell horrid. Yes, you're going to fix that. No, 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 don't go clean up. Come clean her up. Give Norma a bath. She's like, I have to clean these toys up first. What are you doing? 7A? Are you giving her a bath? I am so confused. Which one of you are giving her a bath? Someone, I don't care who, just give that poor green child a bath. Okay, give Norma a bath. And you give Lindsay some food. There we go. That's what I wanted to happen. There we go. What is going on with this game? You can't both be dealing with this child. Just one of you put her in the bathtub. Give a bath to Norma. Come on. There we go. Pick her up. Put her in the tub. Perfect. There we go. That's good. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay. Alright, so Jim is just going to give Norma a bit of a bath. Liam is dealing with Lindsay. Perfect. Now we're going. We're getting it done. Teamwork makes the dream work. Okay. Whoa. Alright. All right, and now he's just going to clean up a little bit. That's perfect. Everyone is working together, and we love to see it. Lindsay needs potty training. So, Lindsay, come over here and get on the pot. And these two want to be frisky with one another. Well, here's the thing, Liam. This is what got you two in this predicament in the first place with twins and one on the way. I'm just saying, you know, 
your wife just popped out twins not too, too long ago, and now she's pregnant again. She just doesn't know it yet, and you just can't keep your hands off of her. And this is the, this is the deal. This is why these things happen. Yeah, you clean the sink and you let her deal with the children. That's a good plan. And she's like, come on, Lindsay. You can do this. You're such a big girl. Meanwhile, Norma's in there playing. So she's doing great. She's in there rocking on the rocking horse. We love it. Everyone is doing so good. And Liam is upset because he has on dirty clothing. So, sir, why don't you come on down here and you can wash some of the laundry because your wife is dealing with the children. And then you can deal with the coop because I don't think anyone has dealt with the coop in quite some time. Truth be known, I'm surprised that, that rooster's still alive. Because, let's face it, you guys are not farmers. You just aren't. Nothing about you says farmer. But I guess that makes sense considering you're an engineer and you don't know how to do farming stuff. I mean, you never did help whenever you were little, so why would I expect you to help now? Nobody knows. Look at you, just breaking a sweat, just washing a little bit of laundry. Alright, move it over to the clothesline and they're clean. He's like, gosh, this is tiring me out. Come on now. You're a big strong man. You can do it. We're still potty training. This sure is taking you a long time. Your mom is going to pee herself before you finish. All right. Oh, great. We have us an artist in the making back there in the background. She's in there painting the floor. We're going to tell her that's not okay. Your father would not like this, you making this mess on this floor. I really don't think this is the way to go. Let's make good choices, okay? This choice was a bad one. Let's not make a mess. Please don't do that. All right, so we are going to go ahead and use the washroom and then there are lots of puddles everywhere, so we need to clean that mess up. Liam's gonna have a conniption fit if he comes upstairs and the bathroom's in that state. Yaba? What are we doing? Are we going to play? Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> he absolutely adores his girls. He really does. So, when he told his sister Merida that he adored being a dad, he wasn't kidding. He absolutely adores being a dad. Of course, he hasn't seen the paint on the floor yet. I'm going to have her clean up all these messes. That way he doesn't lose his mind. Because I do think that he might. You know, Liam always was the sort to really not like messes. You see how his uh, moolets are in the red because he's, oh, he's already started. He's like, I can't handle it. I can't handle this mess. Yeah. He's already started cleaning everything up because he just can't handle it. I don't know if that was, I, you know, I was going to say, I don't, I think that might be the military in him, but I don't think it was because he was like that when he was a young boy too. He does not handle messes well. He just doesn't like it, Liam. So Liam's come down here to play with some dolls. <clears throat> Lindsay's headed her way down the stairs to play with him. And as we know, Norma is upstairs and we have Gemma just cleaning away. So that is just the way it is right now. <laughs> And it does look like Norma is coming to check and see what her mama is up to. And she's just teetotaling her way over to try to see what mom's up to. And of course, mom's done doing what she had to do. So she's heading her way out. And of course, by the time Norma gets to go and look to see what mom's up to, mom's long gone. Which wouldn't that just be the way it is? So she's like, well, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and go draw. So Norma's going to go draw. And we have Lindsay here that's just going to go and play with a little bit of dolls. 
Jim is often to have herself a little bit more of that delicious cake that she had in the middle of the night because, you know, why not? <laughs> Truth be known, I'm sick of seeing that dang cake. But, you know, whatever. She wants to have cake. So, as we know, Liam is still cleaning up. Or, well, he, yeah. Anyway, he was trying to, you know, distract his mind with a little bit of doll playing. But that just didn't work. So, he's cleaning up because he just doesn't like it. Although, now it looks like he might be in a little bit of a flirty mood. Imagine that. So, um, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Liam in a flirty mood? Never. Um, so it does look like we have uh, one of the girls come in to have some conversation with dear mom here. And she's just sitting here, you know, waiting for her to toddle on over. <laughs> it does take them quite some time. Aww. He's like, hello, dear. You look lovely today. Let me clean up after you. I can't stand the mess. She's like, I'm sorry, dear. I was distracted by the tots. He's like, yes, don't worry about it. It's fine. I've got it. All right. Let's go ahead and get Gemma serving some breakfast just so that we'll have some things on hand. I do like things to be in the fridge so that whenever people are hungry, they'll have things to choose from. So we'll get her. Oh, nope. oh my goodness. <laughs> I do think he's going to be like, I told you we don't do this. <laughs> I'm calmly going to tell you not to make a mess, but if you continue this behavior, we're going to have stronger, stricter words. We don't do messes in the house like this. Dad's heart can't take it. And she's like, I'm sorry, Daddy. He's like, that's fine. Please don't do this again. Now watch out so I have to clean it up. I can't stand looking at it. I got to clean it up right away. Move out the way or I'm going to mop you away with it. Lord, he just can't take it. And Lindsay is just really just telling her mom what it's all about. They're just having a very, very deep conversation here of babbling. And she seems to be a little bit hungry, so she's going to help herself to a little bit of that fruit salad that mom just made. Or maybe not. Nope, they're going to do a little bit of learning. We're going to play with some flashcards, and we're going to learn a little bit of basic needs together. She's like, what do you think this is, Lindsay? Come on. And Lindsay's like, I have no idea what that is, Mama. And I don't really want to do this. Meanwhile, upstairs, these two are just having themselves a little bit of a breakdown. We have ourselves one with a little bit of a temper tantrum. Little Miss Norma is feeling a little bit cranky. It would seem that Miss Norma is just not liking the fact that she keeps getting in trouble. And guys, I just got a notification that Miss Gemma is eating for two. So there you have it. It's official. We are now absolutely in our trimester one of our pregnancy. So now she gets to tell Liam that she is definitely expecting a baby from him. They are going to be making their family a little bit larger. And we get to see what his reaction is to find out that not only is he the proud papa of two twin girls, but that they also are now expanding their family to accept in one more little babalaroo. Well, let's hope it's just one. They never can tell. There's a lot of twins that run in the O'Hara family. <laughs> Oh, he's thrilled with that news. He's absolutely thrilled to be expecting a baby. <laughs> like I said, he adores being a father. What does it say? They're so happy. Gemma's partner was delighted with the news. Oh, that's so great. Look at him. He's like, you're going to be a big sister. She's like, Liam, I had no idea you were this happy and excited over children. Like, I know that you love the girls, but I didn't know you wanted a big family. He's like, well, honey, I come from a large family. So, of course I want a big family. And she's like, how big are we talking? Because your mother had 12 children. I'm not having 12 children. 
And no, we are not having 12 children with Gemma. It's just not happening. That was a big, big family. He just kind of chuckles. And he's like, I'm off to work, dear. And little Miss Norma is heading out to go talk to the birds. While Lindsay here has already made it into bed. That being said, she's starving. So I'm going to make her wake up and eat this fruit salad that's in her inventory. And truth be known, little Miss Norma, you're hungry too. So why don't you eat some of this fruit salad that your mama made? Everybody needs to get some food in their belly, with exception to Gemma. And Gemma, I don't know what it is that you need to do, but all your needs seem to be perfect. That being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. We are officially in our first trimester. We are expecting another little babalaroo into the family. And our family is continuing to grow for this O'Hara Decades Legacy Challenge, which is great news. So we will, in our next episode, be having ourselves a little baby. So that will be exciting. And, and if you are not subscribed to the channel and want to become part of the Raven family, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified when new episodes go live on the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. But until then, I'm going to go ahead and fly for now. Bye, Ravens. Thank you.